George here. Welcome to HarpandGuitar.com, the website that helps you sound great on guitar and harmonica. Today we're going to look at the rhythm guitar part to I'd Love to Change the World by 10 Years After. But uh, first let's throw out a harp and guitar plug to the latest single by George Goodman Group, Teach a Man to Fish. That's me. I am George Goodman Group and that is my latest single. And uh, if you like the work I do here at HarpandGuitar.com, I encourage you to check it out. I've got links below or you can find it wherever you stream your music. Just type in George Goodman Group, Teach a Man to Fish, give it a listen. And uh, if you like it, you know, add it to your playlists and uh, share it with friends. Really appreciate the support. All right, thanks very much. Let's get into this. This is I'd Love to Change the World. Alvin Lee and 10 Years After, uh, a Space and Time album. In the key of E minor. So we start off with E minor. And then we've got G. And I am playing G in that particular shape. And A minor. C. And B7. Those five chords make up the whole song, and in that order is the progression. So you memorize those five chords, E minor, G, A minor, C, B7, and you've memorized the whole song. Okay, so that, was, that chord progression is used with uh, two different kinds of rhythm. So one is, uh, you know, the picked, arpeggiated, more subdued rhythm, and the other one is the more aggressive, you know, strummed rhythm. So let's look at the picked rhythm first. So that is a straight eighth note rhythm. Every eighth note, we're actually going to pick a string. So it's one and two and three and four and. So on E minor, we're gonna get eight notes. We're going to get a note on each eighth note. So it starts off with on the sixth string. So we got our E minor chord. We're going to go six, five, four, three. Those are the string numbers. Six, five, four, three on one and two. And then on the third beat, we're going to start with the sixth string open. Then we're going to go with sixth string first fret, sixth string second fret, and sixth string third fret. And as we go to the third fret, we'll form the G chord. Okay, so that's three and four and. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and. Now we're onto the G chord. On the downbeat of G on one, we're gonna actually start on the fifth string. Okay, so we're gonna go five, four, three. No, so let's do this. Five, four, three, one, three, two, three, six. Those are the eight notes we're going to do on the G chord. So again, we're going to go 5, 4, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 6. So I went with this shape, right? So we're walking from our E minor. We just normally put, we naturally put that fourth string on that sixth string so it fits there. Okay, so we're going to do the E minor to the G. Let's do that again. three, six, and then we're on to E minor, and we will just do, or A minor, we're in A minor, excuse me, five, four, three, two, and it's just like what we did with the E minor on the third beat, we'll do a walk up on the fifth string this time, All right, so A minor, one and two and three and four and, and on that and we'll form our C chord, so on E minor, G, and A minor here, we've all had a full bar. It's been four beats, eight eighth notes, so we've had eight notes on each chord. When we get to the C and the B, that's in one bar. So we're gonna get two beats of C and two beats of B7. So the two beats of C will have four eighth notes. One and two and, and the B7 will have three and four and. So we'll do our A minor, walk up to C, one and two and three and four and one. The downbeat's gonna happen on the fourth string here. We're gonna go four, three, two, three. 
And then, so that's the two beats we have for the C, and then we're gonna go to B7, and we're gonna go five, four, three, two. So again, A minor, walk up to C, one and two, and three and four, and. Okay, let's kinda do that. Let's start at the beginning here. So E minor, six, five, four, three, six, 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 right? Five, four, three, one, three, two, three, six. A minor is five, four, three, two, five, 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 four, three, two, three, five, four, three, two. Okay, makes sense. melody right and uh, so when you're practicing this or you're playing this and you goof something up just keep on going just try not to let that mess you up just try to keep on going where you are because it's easy to miss up one or two of those notes I do it all the time okay so the second rhythm again we're going to use the same chord progression right each uh, chord is going to get the same amount of time right? that doesn't change so we get a full bar of E minor full bar of G full bar of A minor Two beats on C, two beats on B7. We were using an eighth note melody in our picking part, one and two, and, and really straight eighths, right? There's no swing to it, it's just one and two and three and four and. This employs more of a 16th note rhythm where boom, ba da. So we need a, a one E and a two. So on the one and then on the ah. Uh. So we're gonna do one, a two. Right, we gotta get it do to do. And then we give a lot of have some palm mutes and stuff like that to give us a, a, an acoustic rhythm. So we're gonna go. Okay, so that's the kind of idea. So we start off on an E minor and we go one E and two. So down, up, down. Down, up, down. So one E and two, three, four. G, we go same same rhythm one e and a two. so that's a 16th anticipation to the second beat right e minor one e and a two so before the second beat we give it an upstroke one a two three four one a two three four one a two three four one a two three so on the C and the B, we do it right away. We don't have a full bar to sit on each one. We give it on the one, a two, three, a four, right? So one more time. Rests, we can give it that chicka 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 chicka, right? Give it that acoustic sound, that uh, percussive sound. So, all right, so that's enough of that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of that, and we'll see you in the next one. There's the rhythm guitar part for I'd Love to Change the World by 10 Years After. If you found this information entertaining and or informing, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when more Harper guitar videos are available. It also helps to boost our distribution. You can also find chords, lyrics, and tabs for today's lesson, as well as dozens of others in a helpful downloadable PDF at harperguitar.com. If you want to download this video for offline viewing, Sign up for one of our affordable memberships and become an official harping guitarist. Peace. Stay in tune.